Hi everyone, I'm Dave Smith, the junior partner of Render Smith Photography. Well, a couple of points I want to cover with you uh, have to deal with the different focusing methods that you can use. And what I want to talk about first is the difference between manual focus and autofocus. Lauren and I, when we teach, we usually recommend using manual focus. However, there are times when automatic focus will work just fine. I'm a perfect example of this. I'm a diabetic, so my eyesight changes depending on the blood sugar levels that I have in my body. So a lot of times, manual focus will not work for me, and I have to depend on autofocus. Now, here are a couple of tips on how to make sure autofocus works for you. As I mentioned before, autofocus works great under certain circumstances. You need basically two things to have autofocus work properly. The first thing you need is an ample supply of light. The second thing you need is good contrast. If you're low on light or low on contrast and you have it set to autofocus, a lot of times as you depress the shutter, you're going to hear the camera, the focus motor, grinding in and out. What it's trying to do is trying to find this enough light and contrast for something to lock onto. Without that, all it's going to do is keep grinding in and out and it's not going to be able to lock onto a specific point. So make sure that you have sufficient light and good contrast and your autofocus will work for you. Depth of field is very important when it comes to focus issues. If you don't understand depth of field, you're going to have problems with your focus issues. So what I want you to remember is the number 40. At 40 feet and beyond to infinity, all those items that are in focus at 40 feet will also be in focus in infinity, into the distance, even 10 miles away. So what you want to always keep in mind, especially when you're doing landscape shots, is ask yourself the question, is the foreground object going to be at least 40 feet away? If it is, you can focus on that, that will be in focus, and then everything beyond that to infinity will also be in focus. So take for example, if I wanted to shoot this barn, and I wanted that in focus, and yet I wanted the mountains in the background to also be in focus. As long as this barn is at least 40 feet away, I can focus on that, and the mountains in the background will also be in focus. However, if the barn is closer than that point at 35 feet, you can focus on the barn, the barn will be in focus, but the far distant background will not be in focus. So always remember, keep that 40 feet in mind. The next area I want to cover is focus dynamics. Most of the cameras today have the ability for you to select how you want the camera to focus and the area it's going to focus on. There's spot focus, there's closest to the camera focus, and there's numerous other focus dynamics that you'll find in your manual. Make sure you read your manual to know exactly how each one of them works and how you're going to use that in relationship to the images that you're going to be capturing. Now let's take for example you're doing tabletop work or you're outside in a nature area like this and you're going to be doing nature photography and you see a nice shot of a bird that you want to take. In cases like that what you want to use is spot focus because what that is going to do it's going to focus on a very small area and that's going to keep that area in great focus because that's the part that you want in sharp focus. Now let's just say if you wanted to shoot a landscape okay, where you want everything to be in focus, you would go to a different focus dynamic. Okay? Again, read your manual. Each camera is different. They call them different things. You want something that's going to give you a good overall focus. Let's just say you want to make sure something is in focus closest to you. You can set your camera at closest to camera focus. What that will happen then is the camera will focus on that point and the area behind it will be out of focus. Once again, read your manual, understand the focus dynamics and which one to use in each different situation. The last thing I want to cover with you is standing positions and hand holding positions of the camera. What you want to do basically is turn your body into a tripod. Just like when you use your tripod, that gives you a firm solid base. You want your body to be, have a good solid base for the camera as well. Don't stand with your feet parallel to your shoulders. 
like this, because what this does is this gives you a weak base, okay? You can move forward and backwards very easily. To prevent this, what you do is you just move one foot in front of the other at about a 45 degree angle. This gives you a good solid base to work with. The next thing you do is you take your hand, bring your elbow into your side. Gives you a nice strong platform. Keep your hand like this, bring the camera up, and lay the camera down into it. You can rest the camera into your shoulder, like that. Your arm is into your side. Lean forward into the viewfinder, and you have a good solid base to take your shot. So it should look something like this. Another way of doing it is, especially when you have a big lens such as this, because they are heavy and you want good support, is to take your hand, come underneath it here, and just grab your forearm. Drop the camera down, and so the camera and the lens rest on your arm, such as this. What you want to be careful of if you do this and you're working with autofocus, is make sure your arm isn't blocking the focusing ring. Okay? Now you have a very strong, solid base to work from. The camera is resting. It's almost like it's resting on a beanbag or a ledge or something. And you just lean into your viewfinder and hit the shutter. And you got a good, solid base, and you're going to have a great shot to work with. Thank you very much. Well, that's about it. I hope you guys learned something about focus and uh, glad we could help. Uh, we've been asked this uh, so many times to do a little thing about this and um, just enjoy. And uh, again, we hope, uh, we hope we helped. Thanks, everybody. Hope to see you again soon. Take bye care. Bye.